Hello everybody, I'm back with a new video um, and this time I want to ask uh, what's next both from the Democrats perspective and the Republicans. So I'm gonna start with two spreads. On this side it's gonna be the Democrats and on this side the Republicans. So let's see what's the plan. What can we expect next from them? Right, so the Republicans. And now the Democrats. So let's see the Republicans. The star. They want to rush things. See the eight of eight of wands. This has the energy of like rushing fast. They want to rush this process. Uh, the Empress. The Queen of Swords. I think this is um, Pelosi. The Three of Pentacles. Okay. The star, I think this is Trump, the star. <laughs> um, it's like they, they're discussing together here with this three of pentacles. Uh, somehow to make Pelosi uh, move. She wants to postpone things. Um, as much as possible, but the Republicans here are discussing to, to try to find a way how to rush things fast. Now, let's see the Democrats. Okay, so of cops, they do feel like a sense of contentment, the chariot victory. It's like they're very they know the direction that they're going to take here with the chariot this has been like a victory for them now they want to somehow keep control of things I'm seeing this ace of pentacles in this spread as some sort of fulfillment <laughs> feeling fulfilled that they they impeached him it is an emotional fulfillment um, but they're being pressed. I see this is the Republicans, the Knight of Wands that they're dealing with. There's a dude, a guy that is, is pressing for something, is pushing for something. Um, I'm taking this is also Pelosi. <laughs> this both these queens, I think it's her. She's standing on her position. She's empowered. She knows the direction that she needs to, to go. Like she's in control of things. So kind of basically that that's it. Like the Republicans wants wants to rush things. Let's let's put some more car more cards and see. Uh, one card for each. Give us some more clues. Republicans, the Emperor, the Democrats, the Ace of Swords. They're being. I see the Emperor as Trump here. They're desperately trying to protect him, but it's like he's um, controlling things in a way. He's controlling them. Trump is controlling them. But the Democrats will not. Uh, derail from their course like they're pretty clear on what they want to do okay let's do one more spread 
and this time from Trump's perspective. Let's see what's next for him. What's what's his state of mind? Give us some clues about Trump. He's worried though. Yeah, the hermit, he got this card here. Isolation, reflection. Let's see, the hermit, things are like up in, in the air. Things are hanging in the air. It's the page of wands and the hierophant. The structure. The senate. He's worried, of course, Seven of Pentacles about the outcome. Um, he's not sure what to expect. Things are being put on hold. I think the Democrats will, will keep things on, on hold. Uh, they will not allow the Republicans to just, you know, brush it under the rug and acquit him. All right, let's see. Okay, so let's do a spread just for the Democrats this time. Like, what's the outcome for them? What will they succeed? Will they fail? Will they succeed? Show something from their perspective on a longer term. Wheel of Fortune, again the Queen of Swords is below the thing. The Eight of, of Cups, this is kind of like Trump or the Republicans, is their energy. Something that they're dealing with. Transition. Seven of Cups. There's a sudden shift. Um, like when Trump will will be forced to leave, he will leave. I see him leaving. It's like an abrupt change. With the Seven of Cups. Could be like some sort of a strategy. Like giving the impression that they're going to do something when they have other plans. Because th this can also be deceit. So this is some form of deception here. Finally, the Democrats will will have their way. They will be this wheel of fortune. I can also see it as fate. The wheel has turned now. The circumstances have like come together, aligned. Stars have aligned. <laughs> it's finally time for the change. Um, so yeah, I do see them kind of like victorious in a way, here with the Queen of Swords, very unforgiving, um, feisty, demanding, um, and this is from Trump, I do see him he has to leave. He'll have to leave. He has to buzz off. Okay, so from the Democrats, it, it's good, but it's it's gonna be something sudden, something unexpected. Also, with the Seven of Cups, unexpected, sudden. Um, Oops, let's do one for the Republicans now, on a longer term. Let's see what can they expect. This worms, maggots, 
Okay, let's see. Ooh, five of cups. Queen of cups. The Emperor, mighty king. Yeah, not good for them. They're gonna lose. They will lose because they're hitched their wagon to Trump. I see loss. Um, with the hangman stuck, stuck in a place. They got themselves stuck in this position. Um. Maybe there's also like a need for a deep transformation for the whole party. I see a lot of emotions. Queen of Cups. Also the drive and desire to act something like impulse and um, and feeling aggressive. They're worried about finances, tax, something like this, money financial situations so yeah on the long term they will lose they will lose because they join the Trump cult they'll sink with the ship uh, let's do one for Trump maybe we can get some details on what awaits him blocked choice again the hermit isolated Ooh, transition his narcissism heavy burden uh, yeah he's gonna be his old narcissistic self but this time he's blocked he's blocked he's isolated and he will have to carry the burn, burden of the choices that he made. Maybe this is also prison. Oh, I wish so. <laughs> I hope that's prison. But so it could be prison, but it could also be that he, he's, he's being isolated and blocked. But he's not going to give up his, uh, his way. This is a disorder. So, this narcissism, it's going to be there. Yeah, no, it's going to be end bad for him. Okay, so I guess this is it for now. Uh, I'll do another video tomorrow. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for all your comments and for all your support and donations. Feel free to leave me suggestions for future videos. So thank you guys again and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.